What's up, ladies and gents? Social Nurse here. Thank you very much for stopping by my channel. Over there on TikTok, people are talking about Miss Universe Zimbabwe 2023. The winner is Brooke Brooke Jackson. And she's a 23-year-old born and raised in Zimbabwe. According to her, she's like 100% purely raised Zimbabwe. And I definitely believe that because Zimbabwe has 1% European population, 98% predominantly melanated black population. Now, there's a young lady over there on TikTok. You'll see her in this video, Colorf Colorful Braids. And she had a lot to say. I think that most Zimbabwe's, Z Zimbabweans really don't care that Brooke Brooke Jackson is the winner of that pageant. If you listen to what this lady has to say, lady with the colorful braids, you'll see that she kind of explains there's more for Zimbabweans to be thinking about besides this pageant and its winner. Now, there were quite a few melanated black women in that pageant. And I guess that they just didn't measure up. They didn't have what it takes to win that pageant, right? If they had, maybe one of them would be the winner. It takes a lot to win a pageant, right? There's talent. There's not only talent, but there is, if you've done maybe some sort of civil or volunteer work, right? Your intelligence, right? A lot of times women in pageants are intelligent. They're talented in other ways. Maybe they can dance, play the piano. How well do they answer the questions that is presented to them in the pageant? Are they getting along with other pageant participants? Um, you know, there's just a plethora of things to consider. So at the end of this video, I'm going to let you hear what a Zimbabwean had to say. And I think that it is mostly people that are not from Zimbabwe that are expressing displeasure with the winner. But when I think about this, the people of Zimbabwe, their opinion matters the most. And I say, if they love it, we should love it too. Their winner is who it is of the Zimbabwe 2023 universe or whatever it's called pageant. And so be it, right? So be it. Congratulations to Brooke, Brooke Jackson. Social news. The way non-Zimbabweans have the loudest opinions about our Miss Universe being white, like, your opinion doesn't matter if you're not Zimbabwean. Zimbabwean is not an ethnicity. It's a nationality. The Zimbabwe nation is a group of many different ethnicities. Ethnicity is if you are Ndebele, Shona, white, colored, Indian, but Zimbabweanness isn't an ethnicity. So our ethnicities are black, but our citizens are not only black, they are a variety of colors. And so as long as Brooke was born in Zimbabwe and she understands our culture and represents our culture well, like we literally don't give a fuck. We've got bigger problems to worry about. Our inflation rate is the second highest in the world. Our elections were rigged two weeks ago. We fucking have a, a terrible economy and dictatorship and whatnot. Like, we don't care, okay? Like, if she won fair and square and she deserved it, then cool. Because people forget that, you know, winning a pageant isn't only about whether you're beautiful or not. There are so many different criteria that are considered, like your contribution to society, your intelligence, your personality. And if based on those criteria, she won, then like, just leave her the fuck alone. We really don't care. Miss Ireland was black, even if indigenous Irish people are white. 
And you know, people are gonna say that, eh, you know, black people who are in Europe got there because of slavery and whatnot, but hey, Miss Japan 2015 was half black and it caused controversy and people were defending her by saying that, well, she was born in Japan. And so it's the same thing here. And you know, like just because you are black coming from another country doesn't qualify you to then give opinions as if you represent African black people, it's especially the people with the loudest opinions of black people in the, in America and the UK. Your opinion is irrelevant, okay? Like you do being black, European or American, and being a black African are two completely different things. Our cultures and our worldviews are different. Our power dynamics between black and white people are different. And so the comments that you have are based on what black people in America went through and our opinions about this are based on our own cultural context in Zimbabwe specifically.